Welcome back. As the Kent County Community Mental Health Authority, Network 180 serves adults, children, and families who need assistance with mental health, substance abuse, use, and intellectual develop or developmental disabilities. Now, this is a vital resource for thousands living in the area, and today we welcome Executive Director Bill Ward to the mix to learn about Network 180, how it's expanding its reach. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. Thanks for having me here today. Absolutely our pleasure. Talk a little bit about the, the Network 180's overview, just an overview of what you guys do in the community. Yeah, so as you said earlier, um, uh, Network 180 is uh, Kent County's Mental Health Authority. Um, we serve about 15,000 individuals a year, um, and we do that through a hybrid of a uh, small number of contracted services by Network 180 directly at our Fuller campus on, on the county campus. Um, and then we have about 100 uh, contracted providers throughout the county uh, serving uh, all the populations that you talked about uh, earlier. It's, it's interesting, 15,000, uh, maybe a larger number than many might have realized. And it, it's true, you truly are a network, a great resource of all of these different options that people have for getting help. And there's some new options now available, right? Yeah, we were really lucky last May, we were awarded a certified behavioral health center uh, through the federal government, which is a $2 million grant, uh, which allows us to expand services to pretty much anyone. Um, the challenge that Network 180 always has is that we are the public option um, and sometimes individuals that have, you know, private insurance um, or who are what's called mild to moderate will, will come through our doors uh, and then we have to turn them away. Because of the CCBHC, we don't have to do that. And what that allows us to do is to provide some preventative services or um, some therapy or some coaching uh, prior to a crisis. Because if an individual lands in crisis, then they do uh, become uh, Network 180's responsibility to make sure that we keep those individuals safe. Um, so because of that, um, we've actually allowed, allowed us to reduce our costs on crisis services from uh, uh, $12,000 an episode down to about 3000 So it's really had a major impact um, just in the nine months. Uh, we're really excited that the, um, the grant was renewed this year, uh, and we are hopeful that that grant will become permanent uh, for a long term, so we really can uh, be the no wrong door for our entire county. That's amazing to be able to cut the cost that much, almost 75%. But mobile crisis, uh, this is something that you offer. Oh, how does that help people? Well, this is something I'm really passionate about. This is, this is being able to go to an individual um, who is in crisis um, at that time instead of having to bring them to an emergency room or walking into our access center. It's, it's really going to serve the individual uh, and hopefully um, allow that, uh, that crisis uh, intervention to be made um, immediately on the spot, whether it's in their home, whether it's uh, at their school, whether it's um, um, it just you know on the street. Uh, previous to us getting the CCBHC, uh, we were doing this uh, for uh, children and adults, or children and families going to their home or going to uh, their school. Uh, because of the CCBHC, we've been able to expand that to uh, adults now. So we, you know, and it, it, it's a small team. Uh, we only have one. We would like to get more, um, but um, we're able to, to, to provide that service uh, in person now. Um, we're also looking at uh, expanding that to do uh, co-responses with law enforcement. So we've begun to start piloting that as well. Uh, it really is um, hope additional tools in the toolbox uh, to prevent crises that are happening in our community. Very cool. You can meet them where they are with that mobile crisis unit. Now, so yeah. let's talk about the two things that people are probably wondering if they're seeing this, you know, substance abuse, they may know someone, mental issues. So let's talk about how do we get in? Are, are, are there age restrictions? Uh, how much income restrictions uh, to receive these services? What are the, what are the criteria? Well, because we've had these expanded uh, grants now, there is no age or uh, um, income uh, restrictions. So if you have private insurance, if you have uh, employer sponsored insurance, if you have Medicare and Medicaid, we, we will we can serve anyone. Um, and if you have no insurance, we, we have um, uh, plans for that as well. So we really are trying to be that um, that that community resource. Uh, for everyone. Um, and, you know, again, I, I, I thank you for having us uh, on because, you know, May is Mental Health